I'm Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to take a look at some new updates on Site Manager, Unify Talk, and our Unify Protect application for our phones. There's been quite a few new great features added, so let's jump right in. The first update is to be able to do co-located consoles, and what that means, we could see that we have two different consoles here, Test 1 and Test 2. So Test 1 is the UDM SE, and that's just running Unify Network. Test 2 is our UMBR, and that's running Unify Protect. In the right hand corner, we could see this merge icon. So if we click merge, it's just going to consolidate it into one. And this is just for your viewing. It doesn't apply to everybody else who has these consoles or their admins on the consoles. So let's press on the merge. So now you can see instead of two, it's giving us just one. And then the top left hand corner, you could see it just says two. So if we ever want to unmerge these consoles, all we need to do is go up to the top and then click. I think this is great if you're dealing with a ton of different consoles like I'm doing, and then you want to keep your site manager a little more tidy. Another new addition to the site manager 4.0 is this control plane, and I'm not too sure if I'm a huge fan of this yet. So this is taking over where our Unify OS settings would be. So if I click on my control pane, we used to have the Unify OS right at the top, and we could easily click on there. Now what we have to do, if we're looking at maybe our dashboard, we would have to go and click on the settings of the Unify network and then go to control plane. It's not that big of a deal, but this is where we're gonna be doing all of our updates. And you can see here that we have a network update for this specific console. We could click on it and then we could start all of our applications. Now, if we want to change this over to release channel or early access or whatever, we would have to click on the UDM SE. From here, now we have our release channel and it's only unofficial because I'm not the owner of this, but if I was the owner of this, we would see release channel and we would also see early access. To me, it just seems like a couple more clicks, but I'm sure I just need to get used to it. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the control plane. Now, the next improvement to Site Manager is our Site Magic Groups. We could have now up to 20 sites. We used to be able to only have 15. And Ubiquity is going to be pushing this even further. So if you have a lot of sites that you need to connect with site-to-site -site VPNs, this is really going to be great for you. Next up is Unify Talk Application 3.3.2, which brings us the Pro Plan to Canada, which allows us the soft phone, which is really great. We could see the pricing here. This is for the United States. So the plus plan is $9.99 and the pro plan is $24.99. The pro plan, it includes unlimited minutes, unlimited SMS, 600 call transcriptions minutes per number. We have 3000 caller ID lookups. We have Unify Identity Soft Phone. And then it says all plus plan calling and porting features. So you get unlimited concurrent calls, emergency calling and free number porting. Now, if we click over to Canada, it's the same price for the pro plan, but it's in Canadian dollars. And we also have the Unify Identity soft phone. So that's really nice. And I'll show you what that kind of looks like. I have Unify Identity opened up on my phone and we can see I have door, Wi-Fi, and VPN, but we also now have this talk button with my talk number, which is blanked out. But if I click on the talk, it now brings me up the keypad. And we also have our favorite, we have a recent, and then if we have any contacts in there, we would be able to directly dial them. We also could look at our voicemails. The one thing that this is missing, which I wish they would add, is the ability to do SMS right inside of this application. I think really that's the only thing that it's missing. With the soft phone, each number that you buy under the pro plan, you only get five seats. So that means you could only push out five soft phone applications to your employees. So that's just something to think about. The next new thing is AI transcriptions, which is only available in English right now for US, Canada, and the UK. Currently, I don't have it enabled, but let's give this a try. So we could do our voicemail, inbound, outbound, external, and internal. I'm going to enable AI transcriptions. With the AI transcriptions, I'm also going to have call recording turned on, and it's going to give us a big spiel about uh, legalities about that. So you should probably read that. And then I'm going to do AI transcriptions. We could also redact some information from these transcriptions. If we hover over the I icon, it says redact personal identifiable information from transcribed calls, which we're gonna also turn on. We also have record all internal calls, and then we could do call recording announcement. And if we hover over that eye icon, it says play an audio message to notify call participants about enabling call recording. So we're just gonna add this. We could do it with a generated voice or we could record our own. This one right now, let's just take a listen to it. This call this may call be recorded, may be recorded for, quality for quality assurance and training, and training purposes. purposes. 
So that's all we're going to put and then I'm going to do apply changes. Now I'm going to call into it and then I'm going to record it and look at the AI transcription. I called in and I did do a recording and you could see it was a call from this phone number to Mac Telecom and it was to Cody McCallum, which is myself, obviously. It is analyzing the recording right now. If we click on it, we could hear the recording. So let's take a listen to it. Welcome to Mac Telecom Networks, YouTube, YouTube, test one, two, transcriptions right now, transcribe, transcribe. And from here, we could download the recording or we could delete it. So we need to wait till the analyzing is done to make sure those transcriptions are actually correct. And it looks like it's already done it. So we could see right here, welcome to Mac Telecom Networks, YouTube, YouTube, test one, two, transcriptions right now, transcribe, transcribe. And that's exactly what I said. So that worked perfectly. Now, the last thing we're going to take a quick look at is our Unify Protect iOS update, which is 2.3.0. This currently isn't out for the Android, but it does introduce our alarm manager. So if we click right here on this bell icon, this is for our notifications, but you can also see alarm manager. Now within alarm manager, we have our site view, we have the preferences, and then we have mute notifications. If I click on site view, this is going to show us all of our alarm managers, the thing that is set up but currently we can't set up new alarms within the iOS app. We still need to use the protect web application, but this feature will be coming in the future. Within the app, they've also added our recording manager. So if we click on the recording manager, we could set up all our cameras the exact same or only our 2K or our AI. This is a nice feature to have. When I'm working on protect, I rarely do configuration within the iOS app, but if that's all you have and it's easier for you, at least they brought this feature to it. And the last thing that they've done, we have our drive account. So if we click on that, it's gonna say to add. I currently don't have any set up, but here we have our Google Drive and we have our OneDrive that we could set up for our archiving. And that's gonna be it for this update video. And I'm really happy with a lot of things in these updates. So the site manager, they're doing a great job with the merging so that we could have less sites under our unify.ui.com account. I also like that we could have more sites a part of our site magic. This is really great for big enterprises that have about 20 sites and they will be expanding this in the future. Another major thing within this video was the soft phone for our Unify talk. I hope they introduce a different plan where we could just add more soft phones. Say we want five, 10, 15, 20, or 50. We could just pay a certain price instead of having to buy a different talk number. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about these new updates and which ones you're using. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.